What's up, wild dogs? Welcome to your Thursday workout. This one's going to be all about that leg work. So I hope those legs are pumped up and ready for today. What we're going to do is start off with a warm up. What I want you to do is three minutes of any cardio of your choice, whatever you would like to do. That is all up to you. So three minutes of that. Thereafter, we're going to go to our standard timer of 30 seconds per movement. However, unlike yesterday where we focused on the upper body, today we're going to focus primarily on warming up that lower body. All right. So what we're going to do for the first two movements are going to be very dynamic. They're going to involve you doing 30 seconds of air squats, really controlling the depth of your squat just to keep that lower back a little bit happier in the beginning and into alternating reverse lunges, okay, just to warm up those glutes a little bit as well as those hamstrings. Okay, once we're done with those two, we're now going to go into a static position. We're going to go into a hip flexor stretch that's going to involve a little bit of a rotation to it. 30 seconds on that side, then hip flexor stretch with a rotation on the opposite side. And the final one, obviously with both legs involved as well, 30 seconds on your left leg of a pigeon pose, 30 seconds of a pigeon pose on your right leg. All right, now that's obviously our warm up. Let's have a quick look at that in a demo before we head into your part eight. All right, so part A is set up as an EMOM, exactly the same as what we did yesterday. However, it's only gonna be 45 seconds of work. So no matter what, I only want you to work for 45 seconds, and then you'll take your 15 seconds rest. All three minutes are going to be squatting movements. However, they're gonna be slightly different. So in minute one, I'm gonna ask you to do 45 seconds of a tempo squat, three seconds down, and then standing as per normal. So one, two, three, and stand. All right, nice and simple. In your minute two, you're gonna go into fast squats. So there's no pausing in between. You're moving up and down as fast as possible, or maybe not as fast as possible there, at a decent pace, okay? Then your final minute is going to be wall squat. So a squat hold at a wall for 45 seconds, okay? 15 seconds rest in between, obviously, each one. You will be doing nine minutes of this in total. So only nine minutes in total, so work as hard as possible throughout the full sequence, guys. Right, fantastic. Let's go have a look at those in the demo now. All right, part B is all about that posterior chain and those legs as well. So we're gonna get started on that. Nice and simple, it's an EMOM again. You're doing five max sets of the following. In minute one, I'm gonna ask you to do as many air squats as possible. So max air squats, okay? So you're gonna keep moving regardless of what happens. One minute of work non-stop. Fantastic. Minute two, you're going into double Russian swing. So if you've got a kettlebell or two kettlebells, sorry, you're gonna do double Russian swings with those. If you've got two dumbbells, you're going to do double Russian swings with those. Okay. Obviously, if you don't have two items, if you've only got one, then I'll allow, obviously, for you to do single Russian swings. Ideally, double would be fantastic. All right. Then minute three is going to be max calories or skips or distance that you can manage within a minute. Obviously, if you are running, you need to have a designated distance so you can run there and back just so you're not away from your equipment. All right, so one minute, if you've got skipping, as many skips as possible. If you've got a bike, as many calories as possible on the bike or a rower, as many rows or as many calories on the rower as possible. That's what minute three is all about. And minute four is your final movement. So minute four is your final one. You're going into double dumbbell thrusters. If you have a barbell, double barbell thrusters, right? As many reps as possible in that minute, okay? Your final minute, minute number five, is all about rest. You're gonna have one minute of full rest. What I suggest you do here, guys, is a lot of work. Really, really pace yourself. Try to take small breaks in between each movement. Give yourself 10 seconds at the end of a minute to take a little bit of a break. 
gather yourself and then start into the next scene. All right, we're done with that. Let's go have a look at that in a demo now. Right, excellent work guys, that's Thursday done and dusted. I know it was nice and difficult, that's fantastic. The legs are feeling great. I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday.